Okay, so why is the Skywalker why is the Skywalker later? Explains that Palpatine had to return. It's too hard like you didn't kill off your main villain in the last Jedi for reasons to because of Ryan Johnson's reasons to the writer from the Rise of, Rise of Skywalker explains that Palpatine had to return the Rise of Skywalker as a course to do a Star Wars movie. It didn't take the pox off of my storm, okay? It's actually the lowest grossing Star Wars movie, okay? Lord, and of course, say, oh no, why does Skywalker get bad reviews? Oh no! My favorite movie had Disney's logo! Back in April, Disney released the first trailer, which, you know, confirmed that Ian McDowell would turn up Palpatine, would turn up Palpatine. Wild time fans will recall the Emperor as dying to return the Jedi, and Darth Vader saved Luke from death. And, you know, he didn't save him from being dying in the sequel trilogy for stupid bullcrap reasons. Big down and then return for George Lucas' prequel trilogy, but so the rise of Anakin Skywalker and the influence Palpatine has turned over to the dark side. As fans of Sock that Palpatine has returned to the dead. Yeah, the corpse of Palpatine. And the writer had explained why it had to happen. The QA uh, recorded by Trey user KRN. When Chris Taylor explained why they had to choose to bring back Palpatine, the way I explained it since Palpatine was such an important part of the Skywalker side and he needed to be present for the final movie, but he was supposed to be dead. He explained that Dao Dao Evans tried to utilize the line for the prequels. Palpatine tells Ag the dark side of the forces pathway to your ability and some considered to be unnatural. And of course, uh, you know. Star Wars Wise, the Skywalker is the first to do it. Star Wars supposed to get brutal reviews, it's not the first, the prequels, of course, blah blah blah. And either way, we have to read all this here about Sports Awakens, you know, The Last Jedi, and the Solo, and, you know, we'll go on. This is Star Wars, it's just not that great, you know, for future solo films that hold. Even Lucas himself has first worst traces of the way that Disney standard Star Wars, okay? You know, the excuse that they use to bring back Palpatine is just dumb, okay? The reason why, you know, the thing is, you killed off your main character. Palpatine was canonically dead in episode 6 until this movie came out, okay? You know, this is just, you know, completely, you know, Star Wars The Wire of Skywalker is just a massive mess, and it's just proof that this is, you bring back Palpatine, but literally, you know, oh, he has to be present, okay? You know, he has to be present, okay? You give no explanation why he's back, though. He, oh, he just has to be back. You give no explanation why Palpatine's back, okay? You didn't give any explanation. He just appears and, oh, I'm back. Sorry you missed me, okay? I was supposed to be dead, but I'm back alive. So overall, the Star Wars, the Rise of Skywalker is continuing to be a massive, massive mess. It's still the worst in the sequel trilogy. In terms of opening and in terms of reviews. Despite what Mark Bales is trying to hide you, most people do not like this movie. Most people do not care for this movie, okay? Just because that Disney's logo doesn't mean it's a good movie. And I was why and I was said that I need to be in Watch Bales can realize the fact that the majority of people do not like this movie. Goodbye.